Hello Pisces, welcome to the channel, hope you're all doing well. This is a timeless spirit message, so when you're drawn to it, it's when you're meant to hear it. It's not going to resonate with everyone, so you can look at your moon and rising signs for greater clarity. And we have manifestation. So you've got the Midas touch, spirit is saying as above, so below. Whatever you want to achieve, you have the ability to bring it to fruition here. We also have prayer. So this can be you connecting in the spirit. You can see him looking up there. He's opening his hands. When we're manifesting goals and we're on this spiritual journey, we are co-creating with spirit. We can invite spirit in. We can talk to spirit. We can make it clear here that what it is we're wanting and they will help you in the background. So communicate with spirit, definitely. If you don't pray, then not everybody prays. You can... Um, Meditate as long as you're connecting in the spirit in the way that suits you best. They will support you at this time. They're saying that, uh, you know, in the universe, the universe, the energies are correct for you to manifest. Now, we'll take this card just so that we can get greater clarity here. Now, this is the Seven of Cups in the traditional tarot deck. And what we make a choice. Stop procrastinating or overanalyzing. Get clarity in what you desire and move forward. Too many options. Our addictions. So what we're doing here is we've got decisions we need to make. It can be over our goal setting here. It's our choices that need to be looked at here. We need to get on with it. That's what Spirit's saying. Connect in with Spirit. They'll support you. Uh, always listen to your intuition here, your higher self. But Spirit's saying this is the right time to be setting new goals for yourself. The star card the Emperor, now this is Aries energy. You could be dealing with an Aries or somebody with Aries in their chart. The Wheel of Fortune, it's divine timing. Spirit's telling you here again. The Wheel of Fortune is moving in your favour. There's your Death card, Scorpio energy, or somebody with Scorpio in their chart. You could be dealing with the overall energy is the Queen of Wands, which makes total sense. There's your Judgment Call that's needing to be made here. The Hierophant. Spiritual card, the Queen of Pentacles, mature energy again here, and the Seven of Wands. So what we've got here is we've got we're healing from past experiences here. It's about you making your choices, healing from the past. Now, if you've been through challenges, it's time to think about how you're going to go forward and become the star of your own show. There's a healing process been taking place here. It's the perfect time now for you to make your choices on how you want to go forward. So Spirit is saying here, divine timing is at play. The Wheel of Fortune is moving in your favour. There's hope, there's luck on your side at this moment. So time to manifest new goals. Time to bring in the changes that you want to bring in here because you're in, you've healed from past experiences. Now this here is about you taking control of your life. Uh, it could be you're moving on from a controlling person, boss, environment of some sort. But whatever it is here, it's you taking control, getting in the driving seat, making decisions to build something beautiful for yourself. So it might be that you've got several options here. You might have to make up your mind. This is the right time to be making up your mind if you've got choices, most definitely. But you've not to be putting off any longer. This is you taking control, like I say. Now, this could be you if there's addictions. This could be you getting knowledge and getting advice from somebody who's very experienced in that field. It could be somebody who's previously had similar issues to yourself here. And they're very well versed in this. So it might be that you want to do that as well, if there's things going on really that you need to deal with in that sense. But like I say, it's about you taking control, getting in the driving seat. The emperor is somebody who makes very good, stable, disciplined decisions. And through his discipline and his good decision making, he can build empires. So you are capable here of achieving anything you want. This is the right time here. You could build an empire. You could achieve your goals in that sense. And because this is about transformation. It's about out with the old and in with the new. So we've got the, the goal setting here. We've got the magician. We've got the death card. And we have got um, the emperor. So we're taking control here and bringing in the changes. We're making our choices. You could be deliberating, deliberating over these choices because you know it's going to bring massive change to your life. So you'll know what this, these choices are. 
It could be in any area of your life. It could be to do with your finances, your relationships, your work or your environments. But it's time for change here. And Spirit is helping you. The angels are trying to connect in with you here to let you know that this is the time to make the choice. The judgment call is now. This judgment you, you make, will you will be like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Sometimes you see the people coming out the little coffins. It's like being reborn. Reborn. So if there's decisions that you're needing to make here, um, you're going to make them and it's going to bring massive change in. And what it's also going to do is it's going to bring new hope, rejuvenation and new inspiration. This is somebody here, the Queen. Uh, she is somebody, it's not a gender specific reading, I'm talking about the energies on the cards. She is somebody who puts her heart and soul into things and enjoys things and that's how you build empires. Because you're passionate about what you're doing and you're enjoying life and you're prepared to put the work in. We've got the Queen of Pentacles here, prepared to put the work in here. Uh, she creates great home comforts for herself. She makes good, well-balanced choices to do with her stability. Like I say, in whichever area of your life this resonates with you. And she works hard and she creates beautiful things around her. She's well balanced in that sense. Now, this could be somebody coming forward with new job opportunities as well, because you might want to be joining new industries here, because this is an employment card. So if you're passionate about something, now's the time to get cracking, taking control. So there could be a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy that comes with new opportunities here, if that's what you're seeking, if that's what you're working towards here. There's something you passionately want to achieve, could be new courses, it could be new ventures of any kind. You're going to be successful here. It's time for change. There's no doubt about that. There's a lot of change going on around just now uh, for people. Um, your traditional values will serve you well as well. It could be that you're making choices with regards to your ethics or your boundaries have been challenged here. Uh, you're healing from that. And it's about being determined. It's about speaking up, being clear where your boundaries are, knowing where they lie knowing what's best for you here uh, and being determined here to bring the changes in that are necessary. Uh, being passionate about what you're investing in here, growing things. You've got the upper hand because you know what it is that you want to do. Once you make this choice, you'll have the upper hand and you'll be able to bring growth into the situation and you'll be able to overcome any hurdles that come along. But there's a determination attached to this. Determined to work on your goals, once you've made your choice here, it's about you being prepared to put the work in, stand on your ground. You might even have to speak up to do it, to bring the change in. But there's going to, it's going to be a wonderful healing process for you. You're going to feel a lot better about life. You're definitely going to be more excited about what you're investing in. So don't be putting this decision off any longer. It needs to be made here. Definitely. It could also be that you've been manifesting a relationship into your life. So this could be an uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius in that sense that comes forward. Somebody who's very attractive or finds you very attractive. You're in the right place now for things to happen, goals to be achieved, the new things to start up here. Uh, because there's been a healing process and luck is on your side. So you might have to make a judgment about that as well. Somebody who you could nurture things with, invest in. You know, this is somebody you could grow things with here, definitely. And it's about being clear about where your boundaries lie. That's where the beauty of relationships lie, is knowing uh, what you're prepared to put up with and what you're not. Find balance. Find balance. Find a balance between your work, rest and playtime and you will have more energy, harmony and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. Now, you might want to take a step back here to take make your choices but your choices are going to be better for you. You're going to feel better about them. Uh, this is going to be a good change for you and you're going to enjoy the any any progress that you're going to be making. You're going to be enjoying this uh, new path. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.